Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a habit tracker with progress bar in Notion. First I'm going to start with an empty page and then I'm going to add a cover photo for my habit tracker. And I always use Unsplash photos for my cover but you can totally use your own by uploading it to Notion. Next, I'm going to name this page as Habit Tracker as well as adding a symbol just so that my Habit Tracker looks more interesting. Then we're going to start by adding a table view content. So we're going to go ahead and type on slash table view. And then we're going to create a new database because we haven't created any database yet. So we're going to start that from scratch. Next, I'm going to customize the content of my table and I'm speeding up the video right here, but don't worry, I'm going to explain to you what I'm doing. So basically, I'm creating five columns. The first one is just going to be the regular name one. The second one is going to be the date. And the third one, fourth one, and the fifth one are going to be the habit that I want to do on a daily basis. Since this is the daily habit table view, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to see if I can keep on track and what habits have I done in a day. So on the sixth table column, what I did was I created a column with a formula property and this is the formula that I've inserted on it. So the formula is two number and then first habit plus two number, second habit and then to number third habit in which I'm going to divide by three later by going to the drop down menu scroll down and you're going to find a divide by options so the division number is going to depend to the amount of habit that you have for now I only have three that's why I'm going to add the number three on the divide by menu and if you have five habits go ahead and insert the number five over there and don't forget to add up to the multiplication on the formula before too. Next, I'm going to add my date over here. And then I'm also going to show you if you would like to add another column that says the day name. You can do that by adding a new columns with the formula properties. And the formula to create the day name is by typing format date and then now and then you can just change the date format to just ddd to show only the day name so what it does is that it's going to automatically insert the day's name according to on which day you're creating that entry in next i'm going to insert this table into a toggle view so what i did was i type in a slash toggle and then i'm dragging the ready-made table into the toggle just so my habit tracker will look cleaner and then i'm going to also create another toggle for my weekly habit you don't really have to make toggle if you don't want to i prefer doing it this way just so that i can look at the other part of my habit tracker if i want to without having to look at the content of my daily habit or my weekly habit I also like to decorate my Notion by changing the colors of the tags just to spice things up a bit. Next, we're going to create another table view content just like the one that we've created for our daily habit, but we're going to have slightly different columns on it. So the first column is going to be name just like before. The second one is going to be date, but instead of just showing one date, I'm going to show the date for the whole week. And the third column is the habit date with text properties. And then we're going to have a weekly goal with number properties, actual column with roll-up properties, and we're going to have progress with formula properties. So in the weekly goal column, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the amount of time I would want to do my daily habit. So for example, I would want to do my learning French habit for five times in a week, my meditation for three times in a week, and going to gym are going to be for five times in a week. But for the actual column, I'm not going to insert it manually, but instead I'm going to go back to my daily habit and then I'm going to create one new column. And on that column, I'm going to insert a link property that I'm going to connect this to 
table right here. So I'm going to connect my daily habit table to my weekly habit table. To do that, you can just go ahead and add a new column and then type out relation or link. Both of them works, but the proper name is actually relation. And then you're going to choose on which database would you like to relate to this database right here. So I'm choosing the weekly habit as the relation. And then I'm going to go ahead and click add relation. And you can also choose whether you want to show the relation on both table or just in one table. So what it does is that now if I click on the week one, because I have the row with the name of week one on my weekly habit, that specific row is going to be automatically connected to my daily habit. As you can see now on my weekly habit, there is a day one text that shows that the week one row is actually connected to the day one row on my daily habit. Now, because I know that it already works, I'm just going to hide the columns, but don't worry because we can always make it reappear on the setting menu. So now I'm going to try and tag on one of my daily habit and I'm going to go back to my weekly habit and connect the actual column to my daily habit. Because we've already created the actual column with a roll up properties, what we're going to do is just we're going to select on the specific habit we're going to match with this row. So this is the row for learn French. That's why I click the daily habit and then learn French property. And I'm going to change how it shows from original to count all. So you can see right here that I only have my French lessons ticked once. So on the actual column, you can see that the number one appears. Now I'm going to try and add another row on my daily habit and I'm going to name it as day two. And then I'm also going to try and tick on my French learning and see whether the actual column is going to pick that up or not. Now, if you would want every row on your table to be connected with the weekly table, we're going to want to make the linked or the relations column to reappear. And then I'm also going to manually connect my day two to my weekly table. And as you can see now, my weekly table already read my French learning to two times because I created two days and I ticked the learn French habit on both days. Next, I'm going to create one more column and insert a formula on it to create our progress bar. So the formula I'm inserting is the actual properties divided by the weekly goal times 100 because it's going to show the number in percentage number. Next, I'm going to settings on how the number is going to look like because I don't want it to show just the number, but I also want to add a progress bar to it. And you can do that by clicking on the progress property. Click on edit property and then if you scroll all the way down, you're going to find the show as option. You can choose to show it as number, as progress bar or as progress ring. I personally prefer progress bar, so I'm going to choose that. And then I'm also going to choose the color pink and I don't want to show the number, so I'm just going to use the progress bar instead. And that is how you can create your progress bar in Notion. If you'd like, you can also add a calendar view to your habit tracker. And you can do that by typing in slash calendar view. And then you can also choose whether the weekly habit or the daily habit as your database for your calendar. I'm choosing my weekly habit right here. And then I'm going to change the layout. So instead of coming out as table view, it's going to be seen as calendar. And over here, you can see that the week that I've already inputted into my weekly habit is appearing right here. There is this week one mark appearing on my calendar, but you can't really see anything else on it. So I'm going to setting the properties so that I'm not only going to see 
the name of the properties but as well as the date the habits that i'm working on on that week as well as the progress bar and that is it that is how you can create a habit tracker with a progress bar with notion i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day